process in this video I'll show you how it looks like a markup pin ID as I told you I'm doing uh, as built so I need to identify in the field what is in fact installed and what isn't and I doing also a uh, review for uh, the body necking or, re or uh, revamp for this plant so I also added some notes to help me in the process design development. Here you see uh, a scrubber column and if you don't know what is a scrubber color is you can take a look in one of my posts in linkedin there is there a video there is a video there and just to let this just to let you know i have a gas line here with a isolation valve and this gas goes to the scrubber that is a, a tower where the gas is washed against a liquid uh, stream and in the bottom of the this tower I have two pumps one is in standby it means that I only want I only have one running at a time and if it stops or if it needs to be to go to the maintenance I will start the other one and I have an isolation valve here also for the startup of these pumps uh, downstream of the isolation valve I have a heat exchanger and a recirculation valve so that the the gas goes to the scrubber hot and the uh, they they flow through a cold stream a liquid cold stream and this hot this hot liquid is pumped and refrigerated or cooling down in this heat exchanger to return and cool down the gas again and the liquid temperature goes up in the top of the, the scrubber I have a, a refrigerated or a cool down gas and that goes to the other part of the process I need to do that for two reasons I, I with this I wash some impurities in, in the gases and I need also to decrease the temperature of this gas for the other process. The markups means that I identified so information that was not considered as I I did I find some information that was not the what was installed in the field so here you can see this valve and in my table my table of symbols for for this company uh, the the symbol of this valve without the markup means that the, it is a gate valve however when I was to the site I identified that in fact it is a bow valve so the the symbol for bow valve has this circle inside the representation so I did a markup and the isolation valve also is different in the field so there I have a bow valve with a actuator electrical actuator and in the previous representation it was a gate valve and I have also a, I have also an isolation valve in the nozzle of the equipment and in the field in the field but in the drawing it was not represented so I need to to add this valve here and 
each time I identify the valve, I also add the size to help to identify if it is a full, full, full flow or if I have a, a reduction and it can increase the, the pressure drop in that point. Here in the gas inlet, I identified that it was a vent, a vent valve, but as I don't have any, any representation or any indication of pressure in this, in this segment or near to the, to the column, I considering to add a new PI or a new manometer so I will be able to in the future or uh, the operators will be able in the future to know what is the pressure the just in, in just in the let of this equipment the I have two two blowers upstream that's far away around 100 meters 8 800 meters uh, 80 meters so I it interested for me it, it is interesting for me to know how is the pressure drop here in the liquid stream return I have a, a symbol for a TT TT means that it is a temperature transmitter and this temperature transmitter sends the signal to the control room. However, in the field, I identify that in fact it is a temperature indicator transmitter. So, uh, uh, if it was only a transmitter, I was not able to, to see the temperature indication in the field. However, the instrument that I have installed there I can see the the temperature indication, so I will update this to to inform for who is who who is consulting the PNID to know that it, it he or she can see the the temperature in the field also.